the Holy Ghost who lives in you that you're supposed to be walking with Holy his Ghost word is perfect his way is perfect day. what effect is that gonna have on you Holy Ghost, your God in the earth a perfect effect Holy Ghost, your God in the earth The Holy Ghost is the God Father in the earth today, today and you walk with him by Jesus saying words. Right My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. Ghost if this is your God first time here, make sure you subscribe. Day. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. There's an art to speaking the word of God into your life. Mm -hmm. And this art comes from knowing him see there's mechanics mm -hmm. right? right there's mechanics there's a way to you can almost mechanically do it but there's an art that comes only through knowing him yes. from knowing him as being perfect mm -hmm. well I am a person who has been given this message I have it God gave it to me and now I'm giving it to you yes. that's how it works so let me influence you and I'll take you with me into this art see the Holy Ghost is God he is in the earth he's the one in the earth mm -hmm. but he's perfect you see this I know you're not perfect I'm not perfect but we're gonna we're gonna be talking about this right but the Holy Ghost is God he's in the earth and he is perfect mm -hmm. can you get that yes he's a perfect being if you could see him you'd know he was perfect he is perfection mm -hmm. say he is perfection. He is, he is perfection well isn't this great that we get to know him Amen. right well if you don't know him as being perfect or as perfection you haven't worshiped him enough well I've never worshiped God well that's part of why I'm trying to influence you to go here he's trying to influence me yes that's what I'm trying to do influence you into worshiping the Holy Ghost so that you can know him as God and when you know him as God you will know him as a perfect being absolute perfection mm -hmm. if you don't know him this way you haven't worshiped him enough I'm telling you mm -hmm. you have to worship God why is that so difficult for people to understand you have to worship God mm -hmm. if you want to know him and who he is and his glorious perfection you have to worship him and through worshiping him he reveals it to you you'll see him for who he is and without it you won't you'll just think other things about the Holy Ghost but not that he's perfect and that he's God and that he's with you and that he's in the earth mm -hmm. are you here yeah. how do you get there by worshiping him you have to worship God is the Holy Ghost God yes you have to worship God mm -hmm. if you want to go here yes. and I'm telling you after years and years and years of spending hours worshiping him this is one of the things he impresses upon you is that he is God and he is perfect his name is Holy mm -hmm. Ghost holiness is perfection say holiness, holiness. Is, perfection. is perfection through worshiping him you bump up into him mm -hmm. and you go oh my mm -hmm. but I caution you and I warn you that if you let this fish into your fishbowl it will eat all the other fish he's the only God in the earth today mm -hmm. you'll end up like me where you worship the Holy Ghost and you know him as God and you walk with him as God and you let his perfection start to work on you 
in every area of your life Amen. say in every area, in every area. Of, my of my life holy ghost perfection say that holy ghost, holy ghost. Perfection. perfection but like i said i warn you if you let this fish in you you don't understand that right when i say this fish into your tank it'll eat all the other fish mm -hmm. <laughs> and the other fish being your religious doctrines where he isn't god your sad doctrinal non-realities will get eaten up our god is a consuming fire right. he consumes everything yes and once it's consumed what do you have perfection <laughs> say perfection. perfection well he is you know people don't like this but i'm saying it anyway the holy ghost he is god and he's the only god in the earth today if you were to look around if you were to wake up today in the earth which you did mm -hmm. if you're listening to this you woke up today in the earth and if you were to look around for another god you wouldn't find any other god in the earth except the holy ghost right. he's the one in the earth he's the one sent from the father and jesus to be with us Hallelujah. right yes. he will eat all the other fish well he's the only god in the earth today and he is absolute perfection who are you worshiping holy ghost, holy ghost you're worshiping absolute perfection yes. say i worship, I worship absolute, absolute perfection. perfection is that going to influence you mm -hmm. james chapter 1 verse 17 every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the father of light with whom is no variableness neither shadow of turning now the no variableness nor shadow of turning would apply to the one who came down every good and perfect gift yes so he sent say the father sent the father sent every good and perfect gift and and when you put that all together it means it's one thing he didn't he's not sending this perfect gift and that perfect gift and, and this perfect no he sent the every good and perfect gift who is the every good and perfect gift if you're every good and perfect that's perfection are you here it says perfect but he was sent from above from the father mm -hmm. so obviously he's not the father right. if he was sent from jesus and from the father he's not the father he's not jesus mm -hmm. sent from the father which means the father is not here in the earth get over it he was sent from when you send something or someone from you they're now from you mm -hmm. well the father's not here jesus isn't here either this is beyond the topic that i'm trying to cover tonight but it, it's good for you to grasp this i'm not making this up this is jesus speaking john chapter 14 verse 16 and i will pray the father and he shall give you say give me, give me. another comforter that he may abide with you forever even the spirit of truth he's a he mm -hmm. who's going to abide with you that he may abide with you forever he will pray the father and he will give you say give me give me james chapter 1 verse 17 says every good and perfect gift say gift yes. what is a gift but something given the father gave the comforter he gave the spirit of truth he gave the holy ghost and he is the one who is with us in the earth are you here yes. and he, this verse calls him the spirit of truth good and perfect holy ghost is good and perfect right yes so he is the good and perfect gift sent down to be with us the bible calls him the promise 
acts chapter 2 verse 38 then peter said unto them repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of jesus christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the holy ghost yeah. see the bible calls him the gift mm -hmm. he was given as a gift to you and me verse 39 for the promise is unto you the holy ghost is called the promise he's the gift he's the promise every good and perfect gift well my point is he is perfect he as the promise is perfect and his words are perfect Say his word. his word you know that's the promises of god right yeah. his word is perfect he is the promise his word is perfect those promises are perfect because they come from him mm -hmm. am i getting this across yes. they're complete they're perfect say his promises are perfect his promises are perfect they came with him he spoke them mm -hmm. right yes what's the result of a promise uh, coming into your life and being manifest in your life perfect is there such thing as perfect healing yes yes is there such thing as perfect youth renewal yes, yes must be mm -hmm. is there such thing as perfect prosperity yes. has to be why because his promises are perfect he's perfect his word is perfect his promises are perfect psalms chapter 18 verse 30 as for god his way is perfect. perfect the word of the lord is tried meaning refined mm -hmm. meaning there's no contaminants in it it's perfect it's pure mm -hmm. the word of the lord is perfect mm -hmm. and his way is perfect mm -hmm. who are we talking about the holy ghost who lives in you that you're supposed to be walking with his word is perfect his way is perfect what effect is that going to have on you mm -hmm. on a, a perfect effect yes. right mm -hmm. go to psalms 19 and then let's look at verse 7 the law of the lord is perfect converting the soul mm -hmm. transforming the soul what's it transforming the soul into perfect yes. are you here yes. his word transforms you into a work of art mm -hmm. he is perfect his word is perfect what's that make you it transforms you into the image of him which is perfect mm -hmm. perfect healing yes. perfect prosperity mm -hmm. perfect youth renewal Amen. his word transforms you into a work of art yes. spoken art mm -hmm. are you here yes. Yes. never underestimate the power of the spoken word of god to transform your life stop underestimating it you stop it his spoken word will transform you into a work of art he'll transform you into the thing that he said it's perfect are you here yes, yes. everybody poo poos stuff like that no the word perfect means mature the word perfect you know they they always try to emasculate and, and take the power out of the word of god some of us need perfect healing mm -hmm. you need your physical body healed you need it youth renewed you need perfect prosperity we have things to do in this earth and it requires walking and knowing the holy ghost who is god who is perfect and we use his word yes i'm convinced 
i'm convinced that things are not working for people because they're believing for the wrong thing he doesn't have half healing there's no such thing as half healing i'm feeling a little better he doesn't have that he has healed mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Yes. more than more than enough is prosperity mm -hmm. i just squeak by i'm squeaking squeaking squeak you need to get rid of that squeaking mm -hmm. are you here yes. believe for more than more than enough and now you're back into god's room Amen. now you're an art form are you here yes. i think you're getting it stop asking god for things he doesn't have right. spoken art are you getting this i hope i'm getting this across never underestimate the power of the spoken word of God if you're speaking God's word you're speaking perfection into your life mm -hmm. let it work its work mm -hmm. I know you're having a hard time wrapping your head around that because you don't think you're well you're not perfect his words perfect his word is what does it to you mm -hmm. when you worship him the Holy Ghost you bump into perfection this is how you begin to see yourself differently you're bumping into him you're bumping into perfection you know we know we're we're changed into his image from glory to glory mm -hmm. when you're worshiping him you bump into perfection confessing his word you bump into the perfection of it mm -hmm. my god supplies all my need according to his riches and glory by christ jesus was that a semi half perfect word all my need all your needs is all your needs amen. that's perfect yes. amen. that's an art form yes. are you starting to see the art of it yes we talked about the mechanics of it and how to do it and all the things that happen you have to understand that but the fact is you become your life becomes an art form of walking with a perfect God someone who is perfection and you're speaking his words mm -hmm. confessing his word you bump into the perfection of those words well how do you know because I do it and I see it and those words are perfect and the result listen the result they produce in your life is perfect mm -hmm. keep at it and it changes you into itself it's not about you it's not about the fact that you're not perfect no kidding it's about the fact that those words are perfect and they're changing you into them mm -hmm. they're his words is this fun yet psalms 138 and verse 8 the lord are you there yes. the lord will perfect that which concerns me say that the lord, the lord. Will, perfect will perfect that which concerns me, that which concerns me. now that which concerns you would be the non-perfect parts of your life mm -hmm. well that's not perfect the lord holy ghost god in the earth today will say will. will that means he's willing mm -hmm. he will do it perfect that which concerns you who does it the lord will yes he does it through through the mechanics of speaking in agreement with his word and worshiping him are you here mm -hmm. you're not gonna be the same person i like you the way you are but you're gonna be better you're gonna be you're gonna be changed into a different person a different being yes. you're gonna be being like he be being yes you keep at it and it changes you into itself mm -hmm. you keep at it and the sickness goes away because you are perfectly healed mm -hmm. if you're perfectly healed what happened to the sickness mm. it went perfectly away yes 
who did that Holy Ghost and his word it wasn't you the Lord the Holy Ghost and his spoken word will perfect that which concerns you well I can't see it yeah I know you got to keep going here you have to worship the Holy Ghost until you see that he is perfect and then you keep saying his words until you see that they are perfect and those things begin to change you into themselves yes. perfect mm -hmm. is this any good yes what if you're not there yet keep at it mm -hmm. and you'll begin to see it yeah. and you'll start talking like me psalms 107 and verse 20 he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions he delivered them from their destruction their destructions obviously and healed them from their sicknesses mm -hmm. right, right. Yeah. so he sent his word he sent his perfect word mm -hmm. and the perfect word he sent healed them perfectly because that's the way it do mm -hmm. that's what it is you bump into the perfection of his word as you put it in your mouth and you say it it's not your word it's his word mm -hmm. he sent his perfect word and perfect healed them of where they weren't perfect he is aware of your human condition he is aware of your specific condition but he sent his word mm -hmm. and healed the specific condition yes. it doesn't the condition is not what matters it's that he sent his word and it healed them mm -hmm. perfectly yes. God knows every hair on your head well I know that's because there's only 19 of them left that's not the number he knows mm -hmm. he knows a perfect head of hair mm -hmm. say a perfect, a perfect head, of hair. head of hair if no one preaches this no one will walk in it you understand that right yes. if no one preaches this then no one will walk in it and so many preachers just skirt away from this because they don't want to offend anybody you know who you're offending the perfect one the Holy Ghost and his perfect word who expects you to walk in his word expects you to walk with him in the earth what will the effect of that be you'll be changed I can't see it now I know you have to be changed to be able to see it mm -hmm. if no one preaches it no one will walk in it but I must have it all I've said that before and that comes from speaking enough of his scriptures living God gives me richly all things to enjoy is that something that that falls short no all is all mm -hmm. I must have it all he sent his perfect word and perfect healed me you got a problem with this then you got a problem with, with this he sent his perfect word his word's perfect right we read these he sent his perfect word then that perfect word must perfect heal me yes and perfect deliver me from my destructions things that i might have done to destroy myself mm -hmm. i am therefore a perfect specimen of divine healing health and youth renewal you know who may who that that statement makes happy holy ghost maybe nobody out there but that makes the holy ghost happy. why he's gonna live in here mm -hmm. he's been trying to get these things through to you Amen. say i am, I am a, perfect a perfect specimen, specimen. Of, divine of divine healing, healing. Health, health and youth renewal and you know you're the temple of the Holy Ghost right yes. glorify God in your body 
the Holy Ghost he's perfect what know you not that your body is his temple Amen. then what's that make you a perfect specimen of divine healing health and youth renewal mm -hmm. that's first Corinthians 6 19 and 20 it says what know you not your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost glorify God in your body he is perfect his word is perfect and he has a perfect effect in me and on me and around me yes that's a living art form walking with a living god there's an art to this and part of the art is seeing yourself the way god sees you hebrews chapter 6 verse 1 therefore leaving the principles of the doctrine of christ let us go on unto perfection let us go on to perfection mm -hmm. say that let us, let us go, on go on to perfection, to perfection. somebody's got to do it he is perfection his word is perfection he will perfect you and you will be made into a perfect work of art every realm of your life with him thank you holy ghost for blessing these people right now revealing to them the thing they need to know which is you and that you are perfect and your word is perfect and their future is perfect with you we thank you holy ghost for blessing them in Jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I, worship I worship you you are perfection, you are perfection. I thank you, thank you that you are God working God perfection in my finances I have God more than more than enough day. to do everything I need to do to give to everything I need to give to and still have more than more than enough perfectly in Jesus name amen Holy Ghost your God in the earth to 